Hello friends, let's see the perineum. For the perineum, we have to understand the bony pelvis first and this is the brief orientation regarding the bony pelvis. So here when we see the bony pelvis is going to be formed by two sided hip bone along with the sacrum as well as the coccyx and the bony pelvis having three important areas. This is the pelvic inlet which is bounded by the pelvic brim. This is pelvic cavity and the pelvic outlet. So perineum is the area which is concerned with the structures present within the pelvic outlet and lies below the pelvic diaphragm. So where the pelvic diaphragm is situated? Pelvic diaphragm it is formed by the levator ani muscle and the coccygeus muscle which is present within the pelvic cavity. So the area below that pelvic diaphragm the structures concerned with the perineum and all these structures lies within the pelvic outlet. So for that let's see the pelvic outlet boundaries. The pelvic outlet it is a diamond shaped area which is bounded anteriorly by this pubic symphysis and one ligament that is the arcuate pubic ligament. Posteriorly this pelvic diaphragm it is bounded by the tip of the coccyx. Anterolaterally this pelvic diaphragm it is formed by this ischiopubic ramus and the ischial tuberosity and posterolaterally this pelvic outlet it is bounded by one ligament which extends from the ischial tuberosity to the sacrum and that ligament it is called as the sacrotuberous ligament. So all these are the boundaries of the pelvic outlet. Now this pelvic outlet it is subdivided into two portions by one imaginary line which passes through the anterior margin of this ischial tuberosity into anteriorly the urogenital triangle which is somewhere present here and posteriorly the anal triangle. So this imaginary line which divides the pelvic outlet into two triangles one anterior triangle urogenital triangle and posterior triangle anal triangle and how the name of these triangles are there this triangles occupy the concerned structures as in case of the urogenital triangle the urogenital orifices are present within this triangle and within the anal triangle the anal opening along with the ischio anal fossa is present within this anal triangle. So here when we see from the pelvic inlet we can see this imaginary line area in front of it it is the urogenital triangle and area behind it this is the anal triangle. Now let's see the anal triangle in little bit more detail. For that we can say that within this anal triangle the anal opening is present and just in front of the anal opening there is one perineal body which is going to be formed by the fusion of so many muscles we are going to see them soon. And posteriorly between anal opening and the coccyx the anococcygeal raphe is present. Now when we see the anal triangle we can uh, say that within the anal triangle in the midline there is anal opening and on the both the side of the anal opening two ischio anal fossas are present and these are loaded with the fat and few other structures. So now let's see the figure ischio anal fossa and for that we are going to see the coronal section which is going to pass through the anal canal and the rectum and occupy on the lateral side the ischio anal fossa or the ischio rectal fossa. So we have taken a coronal section for that and let's see the figure which having the same orientation.